You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I'll handle it. Navigation is becoming increasingly difficult due to the number of refugee ships in the docking area. I recovered Prothean data drives from Garbug. I'll have them brought here. Commander Shepard. Thank you. I'm sure that'll help with... Uh, any operation we have going. Sergeant, I have a little brother. He went off-planet to try and make money. Shepard, if you're feeling up to it, I thought we could do something fun for a change. Shepard, glad you came. What'd you have in mind? Something that doesn't involve fighting Reapers. I don't think they've conquered the bar yet. I already scoped it out. But then I thought, if this was my last day alive, I'd actually like to remember it. So? So, I had an idea. going? Somewhere we're not supposed to. Some things never change, do they? Ever have that one thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard? Too busy trying to live. What's yours? The whole time I worked at CSEC, I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. But I never did. There were 137 regulations telling me I couldn't. So you got them changed? No. Now I just don't give a damn. Figured it's time to do something stupid just for the hell of it. Might be the last chance we ever get. A little busier than I imagined. How about a dive in the pool? You obviously haven't seen Turian swim. It's a lot of flailing and splashing interrupted by occasional bouts of drowning. Yeah, you're right. I just have to save your ass again. It'd make up for all the times I pulled your ass out of the fire. Novaria, Pharos, Ilos. We've had a hell of a ride, haven't we, Shepard? Times like these, you know who your real friends are. They're not the ones running around looking for an escape route. They're the ones who stand at your side through the worst of it. We never give up on you. I'm lucky I can say I know someone like that. So am I. You're not going to propose marriage now, are you? <laughs> now, before we head back, there is one thing we're going to settle. Once and for all. I'm not saying you don't know how to handle a gun, just saying some of us know how to make it dance. So, let's find out who's really the best shot. There are a few people in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seemed impressed. Yeah, but I've actually seen you dance, Shepard. No comment. All right, Vicarian, you're going down. And don't worry, I loaded it with practice lugs for when you miss. That was an easy one. Let you build up your confidence. Long range, I wrote the book. Nobody alive can do this, not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. <laughs> I said a tough one. Step aside.
do it. Nobody alive, maybe. But technically, I died. Yeah, well, next time we'll throw in a herd of rampaging clicks, and that's how you separate the rookies from the pros. <laughs> arriving at Presidium Embassy. Hell of a view, isn't it? During our war, this place became a myth to my people. A dream glimpsed only in the memory shards. The Citadel was both the heart of our civilization and its demise. The Reapers hid here first, didn't they? No one I knew had ever seen the Citadel. To be here now, I don't know what to think. It might not seem like much, but a Prothean is standing on the Citadel alive. That's a victory in itself. Perhaps. When things were at their darkest, we used to tell stories, imagining the wonders of this place. The seat of our empire. The power to sway worlds. The galaxy belonged to us. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. It's true, then. You share power with the rest? It's not perfect, but it's kept the peace. Most of the time. Pardon me. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Prothean. I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. This one is unworthy. This one has seen the face of an enkindler. They consider your kind to be their gods. A pity we did not teach them to speak better. You're really a Prothean? I am. But... If you lost the last war, what hope do we have? For many. There may be no hope. The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds of being a... Um, I don't think that's gonna work. But you are still alive now. That alone is a miracle. And you still have the power to fight. My people knew your kind when you were young. Torian, Asari, Hana. There was potential in all of you. Now you must seize that potential and become the weapon you are meant to be. The weapon that tells the Reapers we are not machines. We are alive and we will fight back. Thank you. That meant a lot. Commander Shepard, it must be an honor to have a Prothean fighting alongside you. He's starting to learn his way around. Javik is one of the best soldiers I've ever seen. The Commander is a capable warrior as well. For a human, who once lived in caves. Thank you, Commander. I have enjoyed my time here, walking among the young. I will see you back on the Normandy. No replacement has been selected for the position vacated by Counselor Danelle Medina. I have to explain this. Your daughter's paperwork has been processed.
Good to see you're all right, Shepard. Miranda, what's going on? Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right now. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah, with Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard's still alive? He's alive and right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time, but I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins, a lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor, maybe more, that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. Why would your father be working with the elusive man? Especially now. My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history, ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. And you think the elusive man made him an offer? Exactly. Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. I agree, but... I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. You're sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. I couldn't. Was the Volus ambassador here earlier? Yes, he was, Commander. I need in. Spectre business. I'll unlock the office when you're ready.
until we killed Kolak. Once the credits go through, was beginning to think you weren't interested in the money. I'm not. Because Korlak worked for Cerberus? What'd they do to you? None of your goddamn business. He waking up? This is Commander Shepard. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Tell me where you are. Uh, we're still near the Presidium. C-Sec will check Selkish arms when they realize I'm missing. They won't give a damn when they realize you sold them out to Cerberus. Wait. Cerberus is planning to attack a colony that... Stay calm. Help's coming. Zaid used to work for Cerberus. Ask him why he's here. Why? Why go after your old employer, Zaid? How you know my name all of a sudden? Good question. Damn, wrong door. We need you alive to stop Cerberus. Cerberus is after a Turian colony. Kill me, and they get it. Drop my name. Shepard's investigating. She's a recent acquaintance. How recent? Very. Shit. All right, I'm listening. Been a while, Zaid. Shepard. Glad I wasn't just making an ass of myself over a hunch. Undisciplined bastards. This is what I get for signing up at the last minute. Where's Korlak? I'm here, Commander. I... You saved my life. I almost died because the Turians thought I was still with Cerberus. Did those marks hurt you? I'm fine. They wanted me alive until the fees were delivered for my capture. They didn't care about what I had to say. You kept mentioning a colony in your message. Information on a Turian planet's defense system. They'll strike soon. But if I tell you which planet they're attacking, Cerberus will know I turned traitor. Turn? You already betrayed your own people. We saved your life. Tell us what planet you put in danger. I can offer a bargain. The Volus bombing fleet. In tactical terms, it's worth far more than a colony. Or you could give us both. You can warn the Turians there'll be an attack, Commander. That should be general enough to ward off suspicion. You tried to do the right thing before, it failed because you trusted the wrong people. Now here's your chance to make up for it. You're giving us Volus support, and you're going to help us make Cerberus pay for using you. I can't. You can. Waste of everyone's time trying to appeal to a Volus's better nature, Shepard. Aphis. The colony's name is Aphis. Cerberus wants its shipyards. And the bombing fleet? Yes, it's yours, Commander. I'll speak with Citadel Security about this... incident. You have my thanks. 
Took him long enough to spit that out. Zaid, what are you doing here? Later. C6 on their way. Won't be too pleased with the mess we left them. Catch up with me at the docks if you like. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Thank you for shopping at Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Welcome to Nosastra Good Sporting hunting. Goods. Welcome to Agor Munitions. Agor Munitions. Thank you for shopping at Agor Munitions. Welcome to Cipertine Armory. We appreciate your visit. You sure you don't want to do something a little more exciting? I love this part of the Presidium. It reminds me of where I grew up. Where's that? Armali, back on Thessia. My mother and I lived beside a park. I spent hours there. Doing what? <laughs> Reading, exploring, getting in trouble digging for ruins in the grass. <laughs> You're kidding. I was very young. Yeah, that's actually pretty cute. No one else thought it was funny. Oh, the lecture my mother gave me. But she did buy me my first history book the next day. I miss her, Shepard. What was she like? She was confident and kind. She loved to wear yellow. I thought she was the most beautiful woman in the world. You'll be okay, Liara. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Shepard. I feel better. I wish we could spend more time together like this. Just friends. It'd be nice. And who knows? Maybe you'll settle down after this. You don't really see me going into civilian life, do you? No. But I guess that's one more reason we should keep in touch. Someone to share a few secrets with now and then? You got it. I think I know which project you mean, and I've got a Hesperia period statue in Bay D-24. Commander Shepard, that's excellent news. I'll have it sent to that project right away. Thank you so much for your help. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. Please visit any of our Elkos Combine... Welcome to Kanala Exports. Thank you for shopping at Kanala Exports. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment.
arriving at Dogging Bay E-24, emergency civilian housing. Commander, thanks for coming. This must be really hard on your sister. I'm very sorry for her loss. See her go through this. Damn it. There I go again. I hope Sarah can find some peace here. I'm glad I can be here for her. She wanted me to say something about her family. I wanted Thomas to hear it. You need to be strong for Sarah now. You're right. I'm so proud of her. She's no career soldier, but... There she is, coping with all this. Reminds me of Dad. Whatever was going on, he put a smile on his face for us. Your family made you what you are. He did his best with four daughters and a strong wife. He always said, live fire exercises was good prep for facing his girly horde. Your sister's waiting. You'll be fine. Right. Here we go. Okay. Remember the trip to the beach the summer before I left for basic training? Always use more help. I'll bet. I've seen footage of what happened on Earth. Tell you what, I'll see if some old contacts of mine are still around. Can't promise you anything, but if enough of them are still breathing, I can lend a hand. James? Commander, what brings you down here? I was about to ask you that. Well, after our little chat. I made up my mind. I'm gonna join the N7 program. And you're celebrating by getting a tattoo? <laughs> sort of. See, there's no official channels to go through right now. So, I guess this is my way of making it official. Technically, I'm just an N7 recruit, but, you know, I figure with you as my training officer. How could I fail? Right? I'm flattered, but I wouldn't exactly say I'm training you. Not officially. But what the hell is in this goddamn war? I'm just saying, whether you like it or not, you're my direct superior and you're N7. So I take my lead from you. And you know, I'll take whatever advice you got. Really? Sure. The good advice. Well, they wouldn't ask you if they didn't think you could handle it. Here's hoping. But the real work starts now. Uh-huh. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously, but when I commit to something, I fully commit. Clearly. Hey, I won't let you down. The only person you need to prove yourself to is the one standing in the mirror every morning. Good point. You know, that's gonna sting for a few days. You gonna be ready for duty? Always. Hey, maybe we should get matching. You want me to get an N7 tattoo? N7? Sure. Or you could get my name done. Somewhere special. You are such a tease, Vega. Who, me? You ever gonna make good on all this flirting? Uh, I was just... I didn't mean to... 
you know, I was just... <laughs> That's what I thought. Later, Lieutenant. Later. Ah! Careful! I heard about the horrible things Cerberus did during the coup. That's not the organization I joined. There's so much desperation here, but everyone is staying civil. It gives me hope. I recognize you. You're Commander Shepard. And you must be Tactus. Heard the refugees consider you their leader. Yes. Someone needs to sort out this mess. CSEC has tightened access to the Citadel, and we've got desperate people down here with no place to go. I also hear you need basic medical supplies. Dr. Michel spoke of a mutually beneficial trade. I tried to be clear. In my experience, the Alliance looks out for their own. Trust is a hard thing to come by these days. I know you need our military supplies, but they're worth far more than your basic meds. Her offer wasn't satisfactory. Your people need our supplies, and my people need every edge we can get. Your combat-grade meds will make a difference. And our mission may just save everyone. Now's not the time for pettiness or mistrust. With our day-to-day -day worries, it's easy to forget we are all in this together. I'll have my people contact yours. You'll have your supplies as soon as possible. some texts from a library in Reaper-controlled space. I can have them waiting for you at Bay D-24 if that would help. Really? Oh, damn. It couldn't hurt. Thank you. Maybe those texts will help you assign and remember how to fight again. Look at this! All it took was a Cerberus attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war. How's this any different from normal? Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. That's surprisingly observant. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? Why not? Because I could break a bone just from some light over the clothes action? That's always a risk. But then so are the Reapers. Yeah, I wasn't planning on dating Harbinger. You know what I mean. If we all ended up dead this time tomorrow, what would you regret? Getting a shattered pelvis and a broken heart. That's such a stupid idea. If you could be out there right now on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. 
Sounds like you got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. Yeah, guess I do. Now, if you'll excuse me... Now arriving at docking bay D-24. You're sure of what you saw? Yes, Sergeant. Heard from your brother since 